there's no place like home. But what if home was in the midst of a tribe notorious for its fierce and chilling ways? Today, we're diving deep into the annals of history and present times to uncover the top five scariest tribes you wouldn't want to encounter. Our world is vast and through the ages, it's been home to many tribes and communities with traditions and practices that would give you goosebumps. Have you ever heard of the Headhunters of Nagaland? In our number one today, we have this notorious tribe known as the Headhunters of Nagaland hang out. In a remote corner of India, hidden away from the prying eyes of the modern world, lies an enchanting land with dense forest rolling hills and vibrant traditions. This land known as Nagaland was once home to a group of tribes with a particularly fearsome reputation, headhunting. But why would these tribes engage in such a brutal custom? In the traditional Naga belief system, the human head was more than just a part of the body. It was a vessel. It was believed that the head held the essence of a person, his power, wisdom, courage, and spirit. For a warrior, taking an enemy's head meant capturing that essence, that raw energy, and absorbing it. The headhunters believed that by possessing another man's head, they could harness his strength and transfer his courage into their own beings. The act of headhunting was steeped in ritual and ceremony. Before setting out on a raid, warriors would participate in spiritual preparations, invoking the gods for protection and success. Tattoos, which are more than just decorative art for the Nagas, often signified a warrior's achievements and could symbolize the number of heads he had taken. Once a head was captured, it would be brought back to the village amidst great fanfare. Songs would be sung, dances performed, and tales of bravery shared. The head itself would often be preserved, serving as both a reminder of the warrior's prowess and as a tangible link to the spiritual world. The custom was not merely about violence or showing off one's courage. It was intricately woven into the social fabric of the tribe. Head hunting had a socio-religious aspect. It played a pivotal role in rites of passage, communal bonding, and spiritual practices. To the outsider, head hunting may seem barbaric. However, for the tribes of Nagaland, this was a way of life deeply rooted in their culture, beliefs, and the world they know. The North Sentinelese Deep within the Adaman and Nicobar Islands, the North Sentinelese tribe lurk in isolation. For over 55,000 years, they have lived on North Sentinel Island, shielded from the modern world by their hostility. Attempts to make contact have been met with a barrage of spears and arrows, deterring outsiders from disturbing their ancient ways. The Indian government established a five-kilometer buffer zone around the island protecting the tribe's sovereignty and safeguarding them from potential diseases. Crossing this line is strictly prohibited, as the tribesmen fiercely defend their boundaries, perpetuating an aura of fear and mystery around them. Mudmen Tribe In the eastern highlands of Papua New Guinea, the Asaro tribe is infamous for their terrifying mud mask rituals adorned in ghostly masks made of mud. They perform haunting dances to ward off spirits and frighten enemies. According to legend, they once used these masks to scare away enemy tribes during battles, thus earning the name Mudmen. Even today, their eerie appearance and nocturnal ceremonies continue to send shivers down the spines of those who encounter them, leaving an indelible mark on the imagination. Suri Tribe In the remote plains and valleys of Ethiopia and South Sudan, the Suri Tribe fiercely guards their unique way of life. Their, their spiritual beliefs revolve around the sky deity, Tumu, with a mediator named Kamuru, bridging the gap between the tribe and the divine. Rivalries with neighboring tribes escalate into serious conflicts as the Suri engage in ritualistic dueling. Women adorned with clay lip plates and the tribe's fierce reputation add to their eerie aura, making the Suri a haunting presence in the wilds of Africa. Batak The Batak living in northeastern Palawan, a big island in the southwest, is one of 140 indigenous groups inhabiting the Philippines. Throughout known history, Batak has been living in river valleys along the coastline of Porta Princesa City. As per census data, there are about 450 Batak remaining. They are petite, having dark skin and curly afro-textured hair. Researchers are not sure why they belong to another tribe known as ADA. Researchers are not sure whether they belong to another tribe known as ADA or if they've originated from different groups belonging to Indonesia or the Adaman Islands. Their lifestyle is hunting and gathering. They grow plants from seeds and adopt a slash-and-burn farming method. 
They also trade with maritime people of the Sulu region, enforced in natural goods. In return, they get manufactured items. The Tak men often perform different jobs for other people, such as harvesting and weed clearance. It seems that they've started living a settled life in small villages. Thanks for watching. What other scary tribes do you know? Let us know in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found today's content interesting, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your screen. Our next video will blow your mind.